Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the coolest pet in Skyblock. Before I do, maybe leave a like and subscribe, maybe comment what you think it is. I'm guessing you already know, probably based on the thumbnail. But today we're going to be talking about the Yeti pet. And if you look at the age, there is actually none on here. So, luckily, I have one of my own. If any guys pay attention to what I've normally been doing like on stream, you'll see, hey, he has a Yeti that he's been upgrading. And yeah, I've been working on it, because I think Yeti is... A decent pet it is not top tier. It definitely needs a lot done to it. So looking at its perks, you know, it gives int and strength. So that's an okay amount. Looks like it gives about 75 int with 40 strength, which is not that good. Like Ender Dragon is more strength. You don't need really int. Kind of weird. The first perk, Cold Breeze, gives strength and crit damage near snow. Now you are almost never near snow. You wouldn't be using this in the snow area either, like the Jerry Island, so there's no point for that perk. So I don't really know why you, like, that's a perk, like, that definitely needs to be changed. The second perk, though, is where it gets really interesting. Gain four, like, it gains up to 100% of your strength as your defense. So right now, you see I'm rocking superior, and I have almost 1,100 defense, which is kind of a lot. Let's go see how much damage reduction this is, 91. I can hold my sword, get, like, a bit more, you know. So that's actually, I think that's pretty cool. So you literally can be rocking superior and have like 13, 1400, 1500 defense. So that is pretty cool. And finally, the last perk buffed the Yeti sword by 24 damage and int. Well, I don't think that one is a good enough perk. Unfortunately, like I'll just whip out the Yeti sword right now. Just kind of, oh, I guess you can already see it from there. 174 with 74 int. So eh. if it has use in dungeons, it might be good. But, like, the whole thing needs to be changed. Let's go test on a mob and compare it to Ender Dragon or Golem or whatever that kind of pet we want to compare it to. So, it's not really a DPS pet. Like, we'd have to get some snow and test that, which, actually, I think that's a better idea. Would be go get some snow and, you know, test out the damage with the full buffs. I would use the Yeti Sword, but it's just not, not good enough to use, unfortunately. Okay, so we're using the Yeti pet right now. Level 48, not that impressive. Let's give it let's give it a smack. 65k. That's uh, a little depressing. Let's take out the Ender Dragon pet so we have like a reference. So hundred <laughs> so this is about half the damage. Now to be fair, it's only level 48 Yeti pet, so it's not too it's not gonna be too crazy. Now let's put it on a snow block. We do 65k, alright. Come on. 65k. Then snow block, boom. That actually gave it a sick kid. So we got the strength and the crit damage, which gave us a little bit of a buff, which raised our damage by about 6k. I'd assume that it would raise our damage by another 6k if we maxed out the pet. So currently, we're going to be hanging out about 80k damage, give or take, maybe like close to 90k. So it's quite a bit under... Uh, dragon pet but uh is the, is the pet worth it it is really rare if they change the perks like the third perk needs a buff because honestly the yeti sword should be the best sword in the game like if you guys saw when i was looking at the age there's very few of them on the age so i don't know why it's it, it's only a 150 150 sword now it has a skill and uh, the yeti pet and the sword even the rod all three of them need reworks to be honest they're not strong, it's just, you know, but they're from the literally the strongest fishing mob technically in the game, right? Because we go under SCG, level 175 mob, Emperor's 150, right? This used to give the best armor in the game, and now we have, you know, the Yeti, which is the Yeti Sword, Yeti Rod, and the Pet. So, I mean, it's a little bit of disappointment, you know, that the best fishing mob that you can only get for about... I don't know how many hours is it 30 days 20 minutes about 10 hours out of, well, like once a week and as you see from the age there's very few on age so it's pretty rare so it should be worth a lot and good but it is worth a lot but it's not good so hopefully they fix that hopefully and yeah i think we'll wrap it up there don't get the yeti pet unless they buff it 
but I guess they, they don't be more expensive. So it's up to you if you want to get it. We'll see how good it is in dungeons. If I get to test it, I'll try to like think about the Yeti sword and stuff if it's available to use there. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.